Hi everyone, Shane Armand Rowe here. Since the beginning of time, Steam Deck has only had one USB-C port and people have been upset about it. And why shouldn't they? Once you use up that port for something else, you can't charge it anymore. You can't power it anymore. So today we're going to look at three ways of solving this problem, depending on what your use case is. Stick around. Yep, you've got docks you could use, even this cool stand dock you could use to increase the number of ports or to add charging along with video out. I mean, yeah, there's a, there's tons of those solutions, but not everybody's looking for a dock. So let's talk about the three main ways of splitting off this USB-C port if you're not interested in a docking solution, but you are interested in something else. Let's start off with the bare bones basics. We have here a basic pigtail splitter. This is from Zuox and essentially it gives you power in and one peripheral. That's it, keyboard, mouse. You could put a flash drive or something in here, but these splitters do not work well for uh, hard drives or other storage type devices. You could use it in a pinch, maybe to um, boot up and recover your deck, but in reality, this is kind of it. Maybe even use a headphone jack or a, a USB set of headphones here, right? You could go a little bit further and use something like this. There's another Zuox product that allows you to use a, a second USB-C port. Of course, you could always use some sort of a small hub and Velcro it to the back, plug it in, sure. Um, but these are all basically to get you more USB ports and possibly a hard drive, but we've got a better solution for that. So I'm gonna call this the basic splitter, right? This is literally the basic splitter, not good for storage, but if you need it for something in a pinch, you can do it. Then you've got sort of an evolution of the splitter. This one is actually fantastic. I reviewed this one as well. This one allows you to have 100 watt in, pass right on through and a high speed USB-A port, 10 gigabits. So this would allow you to plug a very fast hard drive in as well. Now, obviously you're gonna probably wanna, you don't want this sitting on top like this. You're probably gonna have to use some sort of a, uh, a U-type connector. I've got one, some of those kicking around here to move it so that it tucks in the back. Um, but that would again, only give you one port. So you got some limitations there. Tons of options for those of you who are looking for power and video out. Right, there's a billion of these. This one's from Anchor. Basically, this gives you the ability to use USB-C uh, Alt, uh, DP Alt, right? Plug this into your TV, plug this into your deck, plug this into power, and you've got power plus video. So this is sort of one of those uh, very esoteric type controls. What most people are looking for, there's two other things. So let's move on to the next category. There's two other things that people are looking for not this cat hair that's on my desk. Um, they're looking for mass storage with charging, okay? And over the years, I have gathered numerous ones. Queez Lab is my favorite. It's been the fastest. I love this guy as well. All of these, uh, well, not this one, but most of these feature not only USB-C, but also USB-C power in. So essentially on the back of your deck, and I still have a pad here, um, you can have it plugged in and still have power, which is great. These ports are never uh, put correctly, right? So if you wanted to have power at the bottom so that the power cable is coming down here, you then have to wrap the USB-C cable around, kind of a pain in the butt. And the Queez Lab is no better. This is what that pad is for actually. But I do have a redirect that will point this down to the middle. And so that works out okay. Well, there's a million of these things, right? Uh, you know, here's the, the gen key one that everybody recommends, but it's no better. It just costs more in my opinion. Um, yeah. So that's the other type of, of, uh, device that people are typically looking for, for this port would be, uh, a windows boot drive, extra storage, something like that, where I can still charge at the same time. So that's number two. Finally, we have what a lot of people are looking for, and there's just not a lot of them available. And that is the USB-C DP Alt solution. In fact, this Red Magic, Nubia Red Magic, is the only one for sure that I know does the job. 
This essentially allows you to plug this into your deck. It does block the power button though, and give you DP alt and charging at the same time. So if you wanted to use say AR glasses, this is typically the product that everybody uses for AR glasses. So what they really want is they wanna be able to use my dusty, <laughs> everything needs to be dusted. They wanna use a USB-C monitor, but they wanna charge at the same time, but they don't wanna buy a dock and they wanna use USB-C and not HDMI. There's pretty much, this is it. Or you could buy a high-end hub for 50, 60, 70 bucks that would give you that, but it's not nearly as convenient as sort of this long dongle. And it's certainly not as convenient as something like this. Uh, at that point in time, you're kind of just saying, hey, maybe I should just get a dock. Maybe that's what I really need. But even the docks don't have USB-C DP alt out. Um, in fact, I have not seen a single dock. If you've seen a dock, an actual dock that you dock your deck into that has USB-C DP alt out or video out, let me know in the comments below because in, as far as I know, it does not exist, which means you're gonna have to get some sort of a hub that happens to have the, that capability, which this one does not, by the way, that has that capability and somehow put it into some sort of a docking solution or use a separate dock. You know, put this down here, right? If this was just a, a stand, you could glue a dock down there and run it. I'm sorry, glue a hub down there and run it. So yeah, so this is sort of your options, right? If you're looking for basic peripherals, you've got these sort of cheapy splitters, although this one's pretty good. Um, if you're looking for straight video and power, nothing else, you've got plenty of options. I even reviewed a Nintendo one that actually works really, really well. Uh, if you're looking for hard drives, hard drives with power pass through, good God, man, you've got plenty of options. Don't go for the expensive niche ones. Go with the one that you can afford that uh, actually does everything that you need it to do. And then finally, if you're looking for that, USB-C DP alt out. If you're looking for that solution to charge and view at the same time, there's one other uh, product, it begins with an E, I think that people recommend in this uh, space, but let's be honest, the Nubia, the Red Magic, uh, Nubia Red Magic is pretty much the Ibso de facto. So there you go. There are your USB-C splitting solutions, categories, and what sort of challenges you may encounter. Hope you like this, like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. I'm Shane Armanero. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time.